Okay, this is the head shape that I see on this lady. I'm seeing like a triangle shape here. And the main section of her face appears to me to be a square shape. Maybe there's a little chin there. Neck. And here's the hair shape. And that's the head shape that I, I am looking for before I start drawing someone when they are live in person. And then the eyes and nose shape. I'm using a marker. The, which Tom Richmond calls this the T shape. But this is the eye and nose shape. Compared to the rest of the face, I would say it's about like this. Those are the main two shapes that I'm, I identify before I start. Okay, let's start drawing. So everyone's asking what type of marker I use. It is the Zig Cartoonist Marker Mangaka Flexible Medium. Hard to pronounce, but it's a great marker. Now I'll start drawing her eyes. And they're kind of squinted. thick line there because her lashes are thick you can't really see the individual lashes but I draw them anyway a little bit the underneath line it's very dark lashes and mascara down there the eye inside may Draw a tiny little highlight first in the pupil. That shadow under the eyelid. The darker the eye is, the deeper you can draw the shadow. And then her eyelid, it kind of looks like a, a shark's tooth. Boom, boom, like that. under eyelid wrinkle and for this I'm using a very light line or I'm trying to use a very light line now that I brow and it goes it's up and then it curves down I'm just gonna draw that and a lot of times my caricatures come out looking sort of like portraits but when I'm practicing, I'll draw somebody several different times, and each time I try to exaggerate it a little more, so that my first shot usually looks the most like a portrait. So we'll draw the eye on the other side, thick line where the lashes are going to be. Add just a little line to suggest lashes, and then uh, the eyebrow on this side is almost the same as this, but opposite. around to the end of the video I'll give you a quick tip on how to have better lines because line work is very important and the line work you use can immediately make your drawing look ten times better you can have to take an average drawing do it with great line work and it, sometimes it will look fantastic just with the added line work okay now we're going to add glasses there's two ways to do glasses you can draw them first and then draw the eyes underneath them or draw the eyes first and then the glasses on top I usually draw the eyes first and then I draw the bridge area 
And when I'm drawing the bridge area, the first thing I do is look at the person, or in this case, the photo, and I'm seeing, the, is the bridge up high? Is the bridge even with the eyes? Or is the bridge low down on the nose? And then according to what I see is where I draw it. I draw the frames. And I'm exaggerating a little bit. Now, her nose. It's pretty close to her eyes compared to the rest of her face. I'm drawing this as a, a dimension line, and so it's a very thin line. It's where the top of the nose bends to the underneath of the nose. Now I'm going to draw the underneath part. And a nostril here, and then the bend of a nostril there the outside part of the nostril and there's like a, a small bulb on the front of part of her nose so we'll just add a little line here and a little line there to show that her mouth it's kind of a small mouth and it's kind of in a frown shape but it's she's smiling but the top line is rounded down and so down but just turn up the edges a little bit to be sure it, it reads as a smile I'm trying to draw this shape I'm looking at the person or the photo and trying to draw that shape Our top lip is thin so I draw it thin and I'm trying to draw bold and confident strokes I'm my hand was shaking a little bit when I drew that, but sometimes if you draw it faster, you'll get a smoother, more confident line. And these teeth are, are white, close together, so I just start that line, it, it disappears, then I finish it. And that gives the illusion of white teeth that are closely aligned. Now the smile lines. I'm gonna add those. And this is a uh, middle-aged lady, so it's okay to add the smile lines. But if you want someone to look younger, a secret is to just leave the smile lines off, or you could just draw one of them as if they're kind of smirk. Their smile is smirk to one side. But if it's an older person, just go ahead and draw all the smile lines and they'll look older. Or if you want them to feel good about looking younger, don't draw those smile lines and they will thank you for it. So now I'm gonna draw the chin and that's gonna anchor the bottom of the face for me. I'm just looking at the shape that I see and just drawing it. Okay, now, out here we'll get the cheek started. Now I'm looking at this jawline on the person. Now I see her line, jawline comes down a little low. That's that square shape that I was seeing in my imagination. And I'm gonna try to draw a confident line here. It's halfway decent. Now the other side. She's at a slightly three quarters view, so this one may be a little further out, away from the mouth on that side. She has a cheek line that's popping out there. The ear. I usually look for the bottom of the ear. Where does it line up at? Does that line up with the nose? In this case, no. The ear is lining up with the mouth. top and I've kind of run out of space here but it's all right it's just a sketch drawing the hairline this is that triangle shape that I envisioned I'm not drawing it as a perfect triangle I could though that might be fun 
I'm just drawing the hairline. She has kind of a skinny neck, so I'll make it maybe a little more skinny. The neckline of her shirt. Add a little shadow from the chin. Now the outside shapes of her hair. And I'm kind of stylizing it a little bit. It's not perfectly like the photo. I just want a confident, cool line that more or less is like the photo. Now I'm going to use the small end of this brush. And by the way, this is a Tombow. I don't know if you can see that. Tombow brush marker. Has two sides. One side small, the other side big. I'm going to use the small side to add some direction lines to her hair. I'm just trying to add some stylistic type stuff to show the direction of her hair. I'm trying not to get too messy with it. And if I was going to draw the smile line, she has like a, a smile line that comes up from her chin. I could add that because she's older and she won't mind. And um, I almost forgot the earrings, but I'm going to add them in. That's it. Now when it comes to line work, you want to be able to do both thick and thin lines. So here's a way to practice that. You can take any marker. A brush marker would really help. Let's start off with a thin line. Then add pressure, let it get thinner, uh, thicker and thicker and thicker. Then do the opposite, thick line, and let it get thinner and thinner and thinner. And just do this. And then you can also alternate, thick, thin, thick again, thin, thick, thin again. Just practice like that with any pen to improve your lines. This drawing on the left, no line variation at all. It doesn't look that great. The drawing on the right, lots of line variation. Thick and thin lines, it looks much better. Which do you think looks better? So if you want to level up your drawings, you can start practicing thick and thin lines and line variation and you will almost immediately tell a big difference in the quality of your drawings. So thank you very much and have a great day.